Hello, I'm Yipu Liu. Today I'll be introducing the application of ghost deeper GAN to photosome marker detection. This work was done in collaboration with Amal Hunter and Professor Shan. Severe motion blur can cause its image degradation, which could lead to object detection failure. In recent years, deep learning methods based on deep learning have proven effective in improving object detection. However, previous studies have not dealt with application of deep learning-based deep learning method in fiducial marker systems. Fiducial markers are particular objects, commonly planar, that provide the environment with artificial features. As shown on the right side, fiducial marker detection also suffers from motion blur. As a matter of fact, some studies on non-square fiducial markers, such as CCTAG, considers the motion blur in the marker detection algorithms. Given that CCTAG is able to deal with motion blur scenarios, one may ask, why do we still need to adopt the deep learning approach to the fiducial marker system? This is because many popular square fiducial markers, such as Apertex 3 and Ruko, do not take motion blur as a routine case, and they are already integrated into many robotic applications. Suppose that the effect of motion blur is unwanted in these major applications. One solution is to replace the adopted fiducial marker system with a system that considers motion blur. However, this may involve bottom-level modification to the original frameworks, since many of the applications were developed based on square markers. The other solution is to utilize an external process to deblur the image and then carry out marker detection. The proposed ghost deeper GAN, which is a convenient external deburring tool, is for this purpose. A notable trend is that the model sizes and runtimes of the state-of-the-art deburring models tend to increase along with the deburring performance. On the contrary, the sort of fiducial marker systems tend to be faster and smaller. Hence, to fill this gap, factors including model size, lobes, and inference time, rather than just the sort of deburring quality, need to be considered. This work aims to solve the above-mentioned problems and the contributions of this paper are summarized as follows. First, we develop a novel lightweight generative advertisement network named Ghost Deeper GAN for real-time deburring. Second, we propose a new large-scale dataset, YorkTag, that have blurred images containing fiducial markers and their corresponding ground truth sharp images. Now I'll be introducing the design of the generator. We adopted the discriminator in Debergan V2, so our main contribution is located in developing a new generator. Given a blurred image, the generator will output a sharp image. And we have four true models in total, and the last one outperforms the Debergan V2, MobileNet V2 in all terms. Inspired by Debergan V2, we adopt the feature pyramid network arch architecture. For this kind of architecture, a straightforward thought is to upgrade the backbone. So for the first two trail models, we tested MobileNet V3 and GhostNet, which are the sort of backbone since MobileNet V2. Then we choose GhostNet as a backbone to continue due to its performance. In the debugging task, it is common to abandon the last few layers of the backbone since these layers are originally developed for the image classification task. However, in the third trio model, we experimentally found that the last eight layers of GhostNet can be abandoned and by doing so, the accuracy is even boosted. Finally, we adopted some network lightning and accuracy boost modules on the third trio model as mentioned, the last one outperforms the Debergan V2 mobile and V2 in all terms. You can refer to our paper and code to check out the detailed operation of these modules. Then we want to investigate if a model trained on the widely used GoPro dataset would generalize to our task of fiducial marker deep learning. Unfortunately, since the previous datasets, such as the GoPro dataset, contain no fiducial markers, the marker detection rate in the deep blurred image is far from satisfactory, even for the SOTA deep learning model, HINet. To this end, we propose a new large-scale dataset, YorkTag, that provides paired blurred and sharp images containing April tags and Arucos. We followed the same generation pipeline of the GoPro dataset to generate YorkTag. 
details are given in our paper. Note that for the experimental result, I'm going to introduce the models are trained and tested on the York Tech dataset. First, let's look at the quality evaluation. As shown in these videos, the marker detection rate is significantly improved with our model. Next, we present the quantitative evaluation on the York Tech dataset. This is the platform used for the comparison. In fact, we are more concerned with marker detection rate rather than deep learning metrics. So we conducted the following experiment. In the sharp images of the test set of York Tech, we take the number of the detected markers as the ground truth. Then, HINet and the proposed model are respectively applied to the blurred images of the test set to obtain the deep blurred sets. Finally, we compare their marker detection rates on the deep blurred sets. The conclusions are given as follows. The marker detection rates are significantly boosted with the help of the deep learning models, while the proposed model is slightly inferior to HINet. But the proposed model is still a better choice in real-time applications considering its model size and inference time. For future work, a study on the failure cases is beneficial for further understanding the limitation of the current method, given that almost 40 percent of the markers still fail to be detected in the two deeper sets. The other interesting topic is to compare SysTag with the combination of the proposed model and the conventional square marker. That's all for my presentation, and thanks for your attention.